Oh, hey guys. It's currently 8.30 on a Friday. Yup, you guys are seeing this on a Monday, I know. Uh, probably saying, Adam, I really wish you'd go back to the old format, but honestly, I like this new format because then I can take breaks and not have to record. But it's 8.30 at night, and I'm trying to debate on what to eat. Now, the current temperature outside is minus 12 with snow flurries. Problem is, is the garage lighting, uh, I think it's the ballasts and the fluorescent lights, they don't like the fire in the, in the, in the cold when it gets in the sub-temperatures. So either I have to barbecue in the dark, but um, I have an idea for what I could do, because normally, like I said, fluorescent lights, they're a whore in the, in the dark, or in the dark, in the cold, they don't want to fire. So I was thinking about putting something out there where I can just run a regular incandescent bulb in the garage when the fluorescent lights are being dicks. Because uh, the kerosene heater doesn't really get the garage hot enough, especially because you got to leave the door open. So to get some fresh air in there, otherwise you'll suffocate and all that nonsense. So what I was thinking about doing was putting a lamp out there with just a regular 60 watt bulb to throw some light. Because let me tell you, 90% of the time when you're barbecuing and you're looking at your barbecue, you need light to see what you're cooking, right? So first off, I got nothing really to barbecue. So we're going to have to make a grocery store run. It's 8.30. I think they close at 9. So we better get the car started, get out there, and go pick up our barbecuables. And uh, we will do that now. Car just fired up. Looks good. We'll let that heat up for a bit. And um, I'm thinking I really want a steak tonight and maybe some veg. We'll get some like peppers and some mushrooms and you know blend them all together and make it done. And then um, thinking after I eat, uh, depending on how awesome I feel, I might uh, grab my cordless drill from the garage, come back inside because uh, let me show you the other room here. She is kind of a mess. But uh, what we're gonna do. Oh, ladies, it ever cold in here? Some bitch pile of monkey nuts. Oh, this is gonna be a great sleeping room. But anyway, I cleared off most of the table, as you can sort of sort of see there. I still got to do some more cleaning and getting shit out of the way and stuff. And then um, I need to grab a garbage bag and grab all the garbage off of this table and then friggin' throw it out and then pack up the cameras back in the camera bag and move the truggy and then take all the shit off from underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you know, I got the old HP media server underneath and some shit underneath here and some computers and stuff underneath here that I need to pull out. And, and then I need to take off the keyboard trays to expose the underbellies and then get under there with my drill and take all the screws out so I can remove the top tabletop. And then what I'm gonna do is wheel these out and put them in the bedroom. And then I'm gonna flip the mattresses on uh, the bed, take them out, grab the frame, fix the frame because the uh, one side doesn't have a wheel. Then drag the frame in here, throw that in here, and then uh, bring the box spring in here and the mattress in here. And then I'll have my bed in here. And then I'll hook the TV up up here and probably plug it into one of my laptops to use as a media experience computer. And then I'll probably put uh, that end table that's in the other room, put that in here somewhere to put the laptop on or just put the laptop on the desk or some nonsense. But like I said, I got a lot of work to do and uh, I've been slagging on it from being sick and stuff, but I'm feeling a hell of a lot better today and feel a lot like like I have a lot more energy and shit. So I figured we'll get cracking on that today and then turn this into the sleeping quarters and keep the other room for uh, for video gaming and, and computer work and all that nonsense. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, frigate will hammer down and we'll get her done. But first thing I need to do is head over to the grocery store, for sakes, and uh, pick up some food. So let's pitter patter and have at her and get her did. Yeah, buddy. Also thinking about grabbing this lamp here, which was laying on the ground and uh, putting this lamp in the garage so I can see while I cook. Yeah, it's got a green bulb onto it, but whatever. But that way there I can see while I cook, so. Let's run out to the garage and put that in there now and we'll see how well that works. Frig yeah. See what I mean? It's like so friggin' cold in here right now that this light's just flickering away. That light's full balls. This light here doesn't even want to fire. So I'm thinking about putting the lamp over there in the corner and that way there I'll be able to see while I cook and it won't be so bad. So I'm gonna get that set up and then we'll see how well it performs. Hopefully well. Well, not sure if it's because it's cold in here or what, but uh, the lamp's not really throwing that much light. Probably the bulb too. It's one of those green bug light bulbs and uh, it's kind of weak sauce. So I'll just grab another bulb from the house and toss it in the lamp and then maybe it'll throw some more light out here. Normally when I barbecue now in the cold, I don't open the bay door. I just open this one here, just a crevice and uh, let out the uh, the smoke from the barbecue. But um, yeah, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to leave that on, see if it heats up while I'm gone. Maybe it'll start performing a little better and throw a lot more light 
light. Because the one, like I said, the main problem with uh, barbecuing in the winter with the garage and fluorescent lights is these fucking things will not fire for the life of them. These ones here are fine. And when they don't want to fire right, all I usually do is just touch them. And sometimes they, well, I guess that's about as bright as those are getting. And that thing's slowly starting to get brighter and brighter over here, so. If I put in a nice 55k bulb, she'll actually throw a lot more light in the garage and uh, I'll be able to see things and life will be good. But we'll let that go. We'll see if this garage gets any lighter. I'm going to leave the fluorescence on while I go. Maybe this one might accidentally fire, who knows. I just, I can't reach it right now. Like, I, I, I really can't reach it to see if I could turn it on. I have nothing really to step on that uh, will support my weight that I won't completely crush. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll just leave it as it is and let it go and uh, go from there. So let's jump in the car and go to the grocery store. Well, there was something I wanted to talk about and uh, that was Flyer Day. Haven't done it in like almost a month now. Haven't even talked about Flyer Day or done anything with it. It was something I used to do every Friday and I'm not sure how people are feeling about that, if they're upset or, or whatnot. So one of the things I was thinking about doing was making Friday um, the double dose basically. What I'm saying is, um, just tighten that down so it's moving, there we go. Um, I was thinking like Friday I would do the regular vlog like I've been doing, but uh, making Flyer Day a separate video of its own and just calling it like Flyer Day and whatever the date is and that would go live on Friday or Saturday. Not sure if people actually want that or if they care about that. And I was thinking about doing a twist on Flyer Day, maybe uh, trying to be more comical with it rather than talking about how awesome a product is and, and that. Just like, you know, not insult the product, but be funny about it. I thought maybe that could add a whole new dimension. Because, uh, like I said before, Flyer Day, the reason why I quit doing them is because honestly, a lot of the flyers I look at don't really affect a lot of people. Because, you know, a lot of the stores, like, well, Future Shop is strictly Canada. I don't think they have that in the U.S. But in the U.S., they have the sister company, well, we have them up here too, called Best Buy. So you can compare our deals versus your Best Buy and, uh, you know, decide if uh, it's a good deal or if it's shit and go from there. So I was thinking about doing just Flyer Day as a separate video. Like I said, like if there was one going out uh, this coming Friday, it'd be like uh, Flyer Day, February 14th, 2014, you know, or, or uh, you know, it'd be like that. And then if people wanted to watch it, they could, and if they don't, they could just skip it. And I'd probably launch that like at 5 o'clock instead of 9 a.m. 9 a.m. would be the regular vlog time. And then it'd be like a Friday double feature, Saturday double feature, or some nonsense like that. And I was pondering the idea and I'm just not sure if you guys would actually care. You know, I do understand this is my channel. Do with it as I wish. I want to make Flyer Day videos, make Flyer Day videos. If I want to make videos of me sitting in my room, doing nothing ever, just talking about shit, then do that. Do whatever I want. It's my channel. If people watch, they'll watch. If they don't, they don't. But let's face it, people. Why do we make YouTube videos? We don't make them for, our, for ourselves. That's for sure. You can ask any YouTuber out there. They make them because you guys watch them. That's why I make videos. If everybody stopped watching me tomorrow, do you honestly think that I would keep working and making these videos? I definitely wouldn't. I would I would quit. I'd probably ask at first, you know, okay, well, everybody stopped watching, what's going on? Like, what am I doing that's not entertaining you or, or, or whatnot? Like, I would actually ask the question of what's really pissing you off right now about my content, you know? What am I doing that's making you mad? Or what am I doing that's boring you? Like. You know, just whatever. But if people said that, you know, we just don't like your content anymore, you're, you're outdated, blah, 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 whatever it is, then yeah, I'd be like, okay, well, I mean, you know what? It's it's time to hang up the camera. And I would totally hang up the camera. I gotta check my tech, make sure my engine's still running. Um, I would totally hang up the cameras and call her quits, you know? Because I understand, like, you know, Pug One, he does a lot of crazy shit with buildings and, and, and fabrications and, you know, Bill's T-Max is a lot of fabrication stuff and a lot of you guys are into that whole welding and building stuff out of out of nothing pretty much. And that's not my expertise. Me, it's it's technology and you know, that's my expertise, technology and computers and not everybody's into that kind of stuff even though you need technology and computers to watch this. Not a lot of people care about how a processor works or, or you know, why, why more RAM's better than no RAM and, and it, with the difference between a video card versus this video card versus that video card. Nobody really gives two fucks about that kind of nonsense. And that's understood, like, you know, 
there's all sorts of different people out, out there. And personally, I would love to learn more about fixing cars and stuff, but I don't know why every time I get under the hood of a car to do something, if it's something I've never done before, you want to see a guy sweat. Like, I get so freaking nervous spinning wrenches and I have no idea why. Yet, I can sit there and rip apart computers and put them back together and modify them and all that all day long. But for some reason, being a mechanic scares the fuck out of me. And it's not right. Like... Literally, being a mechanic back in the day, people actually had to, like, you know, build parts. Not build parts, but... Oh, fuck, are they closed? Am I too late? Oh, God. Well, we're gonna try it anyway, people. If they're closed, I guess we're going off to Sobeys. Uh, is this handicap parking here? No, I don't think so. I don't see... I see the sign, but I think that's... Oh, fuck. Okay. I'll bring it back and let's see if this place is closed. Alrighty. Bought a bunch of groceries. Not really a bunch. Bought my steak. Got some peppers. Couldn't get mushrooms, like I said there. I got there just as they're like buttoning up everything and, and such, so, oh ah, well. We got uh, some veg, you know, nothing too fancy. Oh shit, thank God the brakes were done. Um, yeah, <clears throat> so we'll go home, we'll prep the steak, we'll prep the uh, veg, and we'll head out to the garage and fire up the queue. And we'll barbecue for a bit, and then uh, it'll be freaking awesome. But yeah, back on topic of the whole YouTube videos, making them for you guys. Um, I noticed on the ratings, I'm getting a lot more dislikes now than before. Probably because either A, I'm getting a lot more of different subscribers and they don't like the content, or people feel that it's not the same as before because, you know, I'm not vlogging on Monday, uploading on Tuesday. It's like, before my vlogs were always a day off, now I'm vlogging like maybe twice on Monday and uploading Tuesday and Wednesday, and then I'll vlog twice on Tuesday and upload for Thursday and Friday. And then vlog twice on on Wednesday, then upload uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and that gives me the weekend off, so I don't have to do anything if I want. I can just be able to have a lazy weekend and focus on other things like hanging out with friends or playing video games for Skaven Games, or you know, this is the whole reason why on Skaven Games I have two videos going up every day now is because I can spend more time focusing on that channel if I want, or you know, I can like the, the tech channel's a bitch to do because I like to do product reviews. And obviously I'm not big enough YouTuber to get shit sent to me for free. So, you know, like a lot of them say, well, if you do the videos on your vlogging channel, or if you do the videos on vlogging life, you know, we'll be more than happy to hook you up with free gear. Like you got 6,000 subscribers over there. And that means our product's gonna see more of an audience, but like Northern Tech sitting at 600 subscribers, they look at that and they think I'm a joke. So in order for me to review products, I actually have to spend my hard earned money on said products. And that's what I've been doing with the money earned from full screen uh, through the networking bullshit. I've been using my AdSense to uh, basically buy stuff to review for the tech channel. Lately I've been buying a lot of e-cigarette stuff, but um, that's pretty much coming to an end because the only other device I want is someday I want to buy what they call a DNA device. And that's a chip made by Evolve and you can get it up to 30, uh, 30 watts at 8.4 volt discharge like it's kind of ridiculous and that's like the next thing I want and the last thing I want is a DNA 30 mod but other than that I got enough gear now to last me a while and after my next juice order comes in from Yellick uh, I'll be down to six milligram e-juice and like I got enough coming in like I got 700 milliliters coming in that should last me a good six months plus all the juice I currently have so because I vape about, I don't know, I would say maybe five mil a day. And that's on, like, that's just because I'm off work right now. Once I get back to work, I'll probably be back down to two mil a day. So a 100 milliliter bottle of e-juice, you're looking at 50 days of vaping right there. And there's only 365 days in a year, so, you know, you do the math. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know. One thing I do know is the battery on this camera is about to shit the bed. So I'm gonna end the video here for now until I get home and swap out the battery. Then we'll prep the steaks and head up to the garage and queue them up. So let's do this. Alrighty, there we go. I seasoned the steak with, uh, I actually used Montreal chicken spice by accident. I did this the other night too, uh, the chicken spice instead of the steak spice. Mainly, uh, I did it again because the flavor that came out of the chicken spice made it taste so much different that it was so delicious. So I've also bought a bag of these bell peppers. I'm gonna chop these up, probably just do two of them, save the other two for for another night and uh, need to put uh, the butter in the fridge and then do it in the tin foil and barbecue these up too because that's pretty awesome so let's put a batter and have at her alrighty people we got the steak ready we got the veg ready what's really going on freak sakes I did it again get out of there 
She must have crawled in while I put stuff away because I seasoned this with, um, uh, where is it? Season the vegetables with this teriyaki stuff. It's really, really good. And uh, there's some butter in there and some garlic. And she didn't get back in there, did she? No, okay. Phew, no, she's right there. I've trapped this poor cat fridge. I've trapped her in between the doors, inside the pantry, as you just saw. I've trapped her in the Lazy Susan. Like, you open a door and she's like, ooh, that must be for me. I'm gonna go in there, you know? She's nuts. She's getting bigger. Soon if I trap her somewhere, maybe she'll be able to get out. She just gave me stink eye too. What a twit. Right, Bubby? Weirdo. Okay, let's get out to the garage and start barbecuing. Well, it's a little bit brighter in here. This lamp's actually throwing not too bad, but uh, I really just wish this would fire. It's all I need. I'm probably gonna have to replace those bulbs or maybe even that entire unit, who knows. But uh, we fired up the queue, got her roaring, getting it nice and hot, and then I'm gonna scrape off this grill. I also got this thing going over here. Uh, try and get some more heat in here, maybe. Watch, I'll be just done barbecuing. Then these lights will be like, oh, it's warm in here. I'm gonna turn on. Cause, cause you know, they're, they're dicks like that. But um, yeah, we'll just wait for this here to uh, heat up and definitely for this here to heat up and then we'll scrape off the grill and we'll toss the meat and the uh, veg onto it and uh, we're gonna have an awesome barbecue. It's gonna be wicked. I don't think I bought a big enough steak. That was sarcasm. Huh. It's like taking up half my grill. Well, a quarter of my grill. Cause the length is still there, but that's a massive freaking chunk of meat. It's gonna be awesome. I love meat. And of course, the veg. Well, I'm gonna cl close this up and let it continue cooking. And we're gonna go from there. Alrighty, I'd say this is pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna plate it up, bring it in the house, and go and eat. Should be good. And there you have it, people. My supper for tonight. Nice, great, big, juicy hunk of meat and some veg. Should definitely do it for tonight. I think uh, I'm going to save the whole make in my room and all that for another video. I'm probably going to try and do that tonight unless something comes up. Otherwise, still got Saturday and Sunday, so I want to get it done before I go back to work, that's for sure. And get my bed into the other room and get that desk out. I've been saying this for like friggin' three weeks, but I don't know. If I feel like it tonight, I'm going to go back into the garage, grab my power drill, and uh, that'll be for a separate vlog. So hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, click that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.